We're all going to die. Father time is undefeated. Hey everybody, Cruise Man here. I just wanted to say hi to you. I had planned to do a moto vlog uh, today, but we have had incredible rain in the Dallas-Fort Worth area for almost a week now, just off and on. Uh, it was actually clear yesterday enough to where I could uh, ride the bike over to have my morning coffee, but uh, you know, by the afternoon it started raining. Now I actually did a moto vlog yesterday morning but I screwed up the audio on the GoPro and none of the sound came out. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go out in the garage, hook up the camera, talk to you a little bit just from here. Because uh, in my motor vlog yesterday that I tried to do, I think I covered a lot of pretty important things and some things I want to make sure to share with you because these are some crazy times right now. So. I know a lot of you are probably uh, locked down uh, in your homes, uh, not going out. A lot of restaurants are closed. I know Dallas has closed all the restaurants here because of the uh, coronavirus uh, scare. And uh, But Carrollton has not. Denton County has not closed the restaurants yet. Uh, so when I went yesterday to have my bagel, uh, the uh, restaurant had already moved all, they'd, they had removed half of their tables and they had like 10 feet in between each table. So they had really spread things out. Uh, I was the only one there. There were a couple of people that came in and got orders to go, but uh, nobody actually sitting in the restaurant. So I was it. This is the, you know, these are the times we have right now. And, you know, this whole social distancing thing, and I know a lot of you guys and everybody, you know, is kind of wondering, where is this going to go? I have a lot of thoughts about it. First of all, I, I take everything I see in the media with a grain of salt. I don't believe everything I hear because I know that the media tends to hype things. Uh, they love a crisis because it's good for their ratings. Everybody's going to watch their channel and see what the next crisis is. And I think there's a lot of people in the media, quite frankly, that are invested in a crisis. They're invested in having the economy uh, do poorly uh, because they think it's going to uh, affect the, uh, a, a change of political power or something like that. Um, strangely and, and pleasantly, you've seen some uh, bipartisanship through this uh, in Congress and even with some of the state governors. So they've put a lot of the politics on the back burner to try to solve this problem. Now, I'm kind of uh, of the school of thought that I don't expect government to protect me. Uh, I don't think, I think if, if you do, I think you're kind of, uh, that's kind of a foolish expectation. It's, it's unreasonable to think that any government, whether it's the federal government, the state government, the local government, is going to protect you from a virus that's invisible. It really can't be controlled. Now, I think what they're doing uh, is probably smart uh, by keeping people away from each other as much as possible. I, I don't think there's any ill intent on the part of government. I think everybody in our federal government that I've seen from this task force um, and I'm sure from this to the state governments, everybody seems to be trying to do the right thing. Whether they're doing the right thing or not, we can always analyze that later. Uh, you know, as far as how dangerous this virus is, it's really hard to tell. I don't think they have enough information yet. Uh, they say it's 10 times more deadly uh, than the flu, uh, yet it doesn't affect younger people that much. It pretty much only affects the older people. So. I don't think they have enough testing results yet. I don't think they have enough data to really accurately say what the mortality rate is of the virus. I think once this testing comes into full swing, you're going to find hundreds of thousands of people are infected with this virus, and they may not even know it, or they may have minor symptoms or mild symptoms. And that's going to bring that mortality rate way, way down. 
it just doesn't seem to make sense to me that it would be any more dangerous in an older person than the flu, for example, uh, because it's not as deadly to the younger population. So I, anyway, I'm having a hard time you know, grasp, grappling with that in my mind, as I'm sure many of you are. Uh, I'm really curious to know what you guys are doing out there. Put it in the comments down below. What steps are you taking uh, to kind of keep yourself safe and uh, hopefully non-infected? Or if some of you have been tested and tested positive, let, put it in the comments down below if you know somebody that has been. You know, uh, a lot of the things they say to do, uh, for, for example, washing the hands, keeping the hands away from the face, uh, being conscious of what you touch, uh, not shaking hands. Uh, Ricky and I have already done a lot of that just by habit because we have our experience in the cruise industry. And for years and years, uh, cruise ships have been telling people, you know, to wash their hands regularly. They have hand sanitizer everywhere you go. Every time you walk into a restaurant, they have hand sanitizers. They also have little dispensers by the door in the bathroom as you leave to take a tissue to use to open the door handle. I never use my hands to touch handrails or door handles. Uh, I haven't done that in probably 15 years just because of my experience on cruise ships. It just becomes a habit. Uh, one cruise line even had a policy where they, the officers didn't shake hands with the uh, passengers. And this was probably 10 years ago. And they had a policy of doing a fist bump. You know, and that, that was really cool because, you know, you go to the captain's uh, reception, everybody on the ship is shaking hands with the captain. And then, so guess what? All that stuff's being transmitted around. So. They had a policy even back then, we're not going to shake hands, we're just going to do a fist bump. I think it's a great idea. So you may try to adopt that uh, from now on. And uh, I think this uh, experience is going to change everybody's attitude toward how we spread viruses and uh, flus and things like that. Anyway, make sure you're washing your hands regularly. Uh, use the hand sanitizer if you can find it in the stores. Uh, and when it comes, you know, to the store thing, I, you know, I really don't get the hoarding. Uh, it's just, you know, stupid, especially toilet paper. I mean, we buy at Costco anyway, so we always end up buying, you know, 20 rolls of toilet paper, whether you need it or not. So we're always pretty well stocked on paper products, but uh, this will blow over, especially this uh, grocery store. There's no food shortage. There's no shortage of paper products. This is a supply chain issue. Uh, it's just none of these stores are really uh, set up to handle this kind of surge of purchases over a short period of time. But they will catch up. And of course, now everybody that's hoarded all this stuff isn't going to need any for quite some time. So the stores will be fully stocked within a week or so. I wouldn't worry too much about that. Don't panic about stupid stuff like that. In fact, don't panic about any of this. There's really no need to. It's, uh, and that's, that's the real message is that now's not the time to panic. There, there's, we're taking steps to mitigate this situation or the government is and, and you are, people are, society is. So I don't really think there's any need to panic. Listen, here's, here's a news flash for you. We're all gonna die, okay? Sooner or later, uh, you know, father time is undefeated. So listen, there's no need to panic. Remember the social distancing thing. The best way to social distance is get out on your motorcycle and go for a ride by yourself. That gets you away from everybody. You're out in the fresh air. And uh, I would be doing that right now if it wasn't pouring down rain outside. In fact, we have a flood warning in the Dallas-Fort Worth area right now. Some of you may have noticed in my most, you know, my last few motor vlogs, because uh, I've seen some of you mention it, that I'm using the GoPro Hero 4 on my handlebars. And that's because I sold my GoPro Hero 7 Black. Somebody got a really good deal. It's a great camera. Uh, I, I'm now using the Hero 8 on my helmet with the media mod because it has the ability for me to plug in a lavalier microphone so I can do my audio with the Hero 8 now. And I just yesterday got my brand new Hero 8, my second one. This is the second one I got. 
And this one will be replacing the um, Hero 4 on the handlebars. So now I'll have two uh, Hero 8 blacks, so it's a little more consistent picture image quality. And it's easier for me uh, because they both have the same menu system. They work, operate the same, so it'll be a little easier to deal with. Um, so I'm excited about getting this all charged up and hooked up and ready to go. I'm also doing a second uh, episode of my Goldwing accessory video uh, reviews. Uh, I've added some new things to the Goldwing since I did that original video. And there's a couple of things I forgot to mention in the original video. So I'm going to make sure I include that information in this new video. That should be out uh, oh, today or tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. And if you like this video, please take a second to click the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Don't forget that little bell icon too, because if you click on the bell, uh, YouTube will notify you when I come out with new videos. Uh, but hopefully soon, uh, within the next couple of weeks, three weeks, these restaurants will be um, back up and running. And by the way, if you live in an area where you can still go to a restaurant, um, make sure you give a little extra tip to those waitresses because they could be out of a job any day. And uh, only, you know, goodness only knows what's going to happen uh, to all these restaurant employees and the restaurant owners. And to support your local restaurants, you might even consider buying some gift cards uh, from those restaurants to give as gifts to people at, at some point in the future. Uh, it just helps them get a little business. Some of these restaurants deliver or they offer takeout, but it's not going to be enough to make up for what's happening right now. If you, if you see a waitress and she's working, go ahead and give her just a little bit extra tip because her, her income is going to take a, a pretty big hit here for, for a while. So everybody's struggling right now. I got my ass kicked yesterday in the stock market or the last couple of weeks in the stock market. I know some of you have too. Uh, everybody's going to suffer a little through this, but I am pretty confident, very confident, that once this thing blows over, things are going to rocket back up and we may end up, who knows, a year from now, we may end up in an economic boom like we've never seen. Just keep the faith, don't panic, and get out and ride your bike. And oh, by the way, if you're, if you're locked down where you live right now, now's the perfect time. Tear that bike apart. Get that gold wing in pieces. Change that air filter. Learn how to do some of these things you've been wanting to do anyway. You can't do anything else anyway. You can't go to work. So go ahead and tear the bike apart. Don't be afraid. If you have my videos, watch my videos. If you have the uh, service manual, whatever you're using, but go ahead and, and take this time to go through the bike, change the brake pads, change your oil, get this thing ready to ride uh, for the spring and summer because now's the perfect time. So anyway, thanks again for joining me today, and I will see you the next time, hopefully riding the bike on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.